Microsoft has been trying its best to appeal to PC gamers recently, and now with a new gaming focus update soon to arrive on Windows 10, is PC gaming about to get a shot in the arm? Or are we staring down the barrel of another Games for Windows Live? Microsoft detailed an upcoming game mode for Windows 10 recently. The mode is supposedly meant to improve the gameplay experience as well as improving any given game's performance. The mode, which can be activated by pressing the Windows and G keys on your keyboard, will be available at any time and can be turned on and off instantly. According to Microsoft representatives, the new game mode will make for a better gameplay experience by implementing Xbox features like achievement tracking and friend services, as well as cross-play functionality and cloud saving for easy switching between PC and Xbox. It all sounds like an evolution of the current Xbox Play Anywhere system, which allows gamers to buy a digital game from Microsoft and get access to both the PC and Xbox version. This system, whilst not yet widely used, has been praised by commentators as a pro-consumer move by Microsoft, and those who have used it have mostly positive impressions. Now, as for the performance aspect of the new game mode, when the mode is turned on, it's supposed to dynamically allocate your system's resources to whatever game you're playing at the time and stop Windows hogging your computer's RAM and CPU. Microsoft has said this will result in a small increase in frame rates, but they didn't mention exact figures, so do take it with a grain of salt. Some users have pointed out, however, this may just be another attempt to get users into the walled ecosystem that is the Windows Store and Xbox Live, and some have even gone as far as calling it Games for Windows Live 2.0. Don't even joke about that. So tell us about Games for Windows Live. Why was that bad? I didn't... It, I didn't. Ugh, it just was so clunky and terrible to use. Didn't you have to like log that. in before you played the game? Yeah, so, yeah there, was, there, was a, a lot of, there was a lot of issues around it as well. So you had this, you had this like login thing, so you had to like sign into it and stuff. But then on top of that, you know, things would go wrong all the time with it as well. It just wasn't a very stable platform. What Valve did with Steam was they persevered. It wasn't... Steam wasn't popular in the beginning, but they persevered and they it eventually turned into something great because they kept with it and they kept updating it listening to their fans got it to a good place games for windows live just crashed and burned because it was a piece of shit PC gamers value their freedom of choice pretty much above anything else. So the idea of being locked inside a certain ecosystem, it's not great. Yeah, it's, it is one thing about the PC platform where you can you can do things your own way. You can have your own parts and you set games the way you want, to, you want them to be set. So when something tries to lock you in and, and keep you in a certain environment, you know, the, it's just by nature that, that that PC player base doesn't like it. Steam is, is kind of almost a synonym for like PC gaming now. If you're gaming on PC, then you have got a Steam library and you've got dozens, if not hundreds of games on it. So Steam do have this kind of monopoly. So I'm quite pleased to see this. I'm quite pleased to see, you know, you know Microsoft, they've got a lot of clout, so they, they, could, they could bring a lot to the table here. Uh, and do some cool, you know, do some cool stuff and kind of influence the Valve with Steam in that different way. But if Microsoft are doing some cool stuff, yeah, Ste you know, Steam's gonna have to react, Valve's gonna have to react, and, and Steam's gonna have to offer some some cool stuff as well. Yeah, it's not great for Steam uh, or Steam multiplayer players, as it were, because if you take the example of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare not so long ago, where Windows Live had to refund players the money that oh, who paid for the game because there was nobody playing it on the Windows Live walled like servers. Yeah. You could get a game on Steam, but you couldn't get a game on Windows Live. So segregating the player base like that is not great. Yeah. If they can play with the Xbox players as well, it kind of, it's kind of a right for the Xbox players and the Windows Live players, but it's kind of a detraction from the Steam player base, I think. That is a bummer. That is something they don't want to happen. Like Depending where you buy the PC game from, that will affect who you can play with. Yeah. That is bullshit. It is man. bullshit. You, you want, yeah, they, you don't want that happening. Microsoft weighing in big time on PC could certainly end up being a good thing for the platform. There's yet to be any real rival to Steam, with Valve software being overwhelmingly dominant. Steam was unpopular when it first emerged, however it soon grew in popularity and is now the accepted platform for PC gaming. Its user base exploded at first because it was packaged in with some games. You simply had to install Steam if you wanted to play certain games like Skyrim, for example. But it's also thanks to things like regular deep sales, instant access to games, and the fact that you're library can easily go with you from PC to PC. But while it is loved by many now, Steam is in need of an overhaul. Microsoft might be a big enough competitor to make that happen. Steam's biggest problem at the moment is the fact that its storefront is just flooded with trash games and early access ripoffs. There's no curation at all on the Steam store, the customer service does need improving, and early access is becoming more of a joke every day. Maybe Microsoft's incursion onto Valve's territory could
could bring about some positive changes on Steam. The Microsoft Store on Windows 10 is currently a huge pile of shit. Is that dog shit or cat shit, Mike? I think I opened this no, debate again no, on the what? third video in a row. But if they put their efforts into making the store more akin to Steam, but with actual quality control and customer service, there's every chance it could gain some popularity. Microsoft has the advantage of their first party exclusives like Halo, Forza and Gears of War, and that might just be enough to tempt some people over to the dark side. EA's Origin platform was initially quite widely hated, but as time went on and the store improved, people began to warm to it. EA announced the Great Game Guarantee, which eventually led to Valve coming out with Steam refunds. So their presence as a digital distribution platform on the PC has definitely had some positive effects. Maybe the same will be true of Microsoft's new store, but one thing's for sure, competition leads to better products and services for everyone. So the performance aspect of this new game mode will hopefully deliver on its promises because any boost to performance is just always a welcome thing, especially on PC. But the real benefit here could be competition. Competition means better services, lower prices and more quality games. Steam has something of a stranglehold on the PC market at present. It would be an absolute uphill struggle for Microsoft to even get a footing. But if they do manage to fill the gaps where Steam fails, add in an extra couple of frames per second while they're at it, it might just win us over. So how do you guys feel about the new Microsoft platform? Are you looking forward to seeing what it's like or are you really terrified of the idea of another games for Windows Live? Do let us know down in the comments. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Check out more of our content right here. We'll see you next time.